Welcome back to our visual storytelling project. Uh, this is video three and we're going to uh, start our rough layout using the sketches that we created in our previous video where we introduced uh, conflict and uh, resolution uh, to our story. Uh, in this one we'll cover creating the rough layout in Inkscape, uh, we'll learn how to use guides, uh, clipping, uh, how to change a stacking order, as well as keeping the proportions of our sketches uh, and any other imagery that we might bring into Inkscape. And uh, as a reminder, you can find the videos in my Picasso web album. So let's get started. Uh, the default Inkscape document size is not usually correct if you're in the United States, so let's go to Document Properties. And we're going to change it from A4 to U.S. letter. I'm going to change my units to inches as well. Oh, and the default units up here might be useful. So you can see that changed the ruler units, which is good. And I want border on top of drawing. You may or may want, may or may not want landscape for yours. Uh, that's optional. I'm going to keep mine in portrait. Uh, let's bring in our sketches. going to drag and drop and link my image. You can uh, also embed, which will include the image with your Inkscape file, and that would be good for you to do in, in this case. Alright, so here's my sketches. Let's put them off to the side. Um, we're going to put some guides in here to keep things lined up really nicely. Uh, you can see the, the tick marks here. Uh, we've got one inch. I'm going to set them at one-half inch intervals. And you can create guides by simply dragging from the ruler and dropping them into place. Now there's more than one way to do this. If you've dropped a guide and you don't like where it is, like if I just drag and drop this over here, that's way too close to the edge. I hover my mouse until it turns red and double click. I can adjust this guide. Now the origin of the document is at the bottom left. So this guide needs to be 8 inches from the left. So if we change this to 8, that's exactly where we want him. Let's scroll down to the bottom, create a guide at 11 and a half, double click, and this, uh, this is the origin, this is zero, zero, so we want this to come up half an inch, and it's almost exactly what we want. So now, we'll have something for our rectangles to snap to when we're laying things out, and uh, we might have to activate a few of these snapping options here. Okay. All right, let's grab the rectangle and draw a rectangle around our first panel. And I have the opacity reduced on this color. You can see down here the opacity is 84. If it's somewhere in that range, you can see um, where your drawing is. It doesn't have to be perfect. Switch back to the select tool, which is S. Now my rectangle is selected already. We want to hold down the shift key and select my sketch so that both images, it says here, two objects of types rectangle and image are selected in layer one. You can see that by the dashed lines here. And I didn't set a timer again. Now we can right click and set clip. And we can also uh, right click. I'm sorry. We can also right click and release clip. Or you can set and release the clip from the object menu and you can see that that creates a nice uh, 
you know, way for us to adjust our our panels, and it's snapped into place when you bring it close enough to a guide. Now, notice how when I resize this, it doesn't uh, it's distorted. I, if we don't want that to be distorted, we can use this lock here. Let's try to get back to normal. If I set the lock to keep it proportional, uh, no matter where I drag the corners, it remains, uh, you know, the width and height is uh, scaled proportionally. And you may or may not want that. All right, so we need another, um, you know, we've lost our sketch here. So let's, uh, let's just copy, control C, and paste. And if we right click and release our clip, you know, we can uh, move this rectangle over and resize it for this one. And if your guides uh, get in the way, <coughs> you can deactivate Snap to Guides over here on the right. All right, we have our rectangle. Hold Shift to select the sketch. Right click and set clip. All right, and I'm going to speed ahead and come back uh, when I have all of this complete, and we can talk about uh, how to lay it out. And uh, I've got all of my panels now as individual objects here using the uh, clipping mask and uh, copying that. Uh, I've noticed one problem though, it is very difficult to select. As you can see, I'm clicking on this third image down and it's clicking, uh, selecting this top one. And the reason for that is even though these two items are clipped, it still, Inkscape still sees this large area as a, a place where it can be selected. So I'll illustrate that here. If we set the clip and I click on something else and then click back over here in this seemingly empty space, it still imagines that that image is, is there and can be selected. One way we can uh, make this easier for us is if we select our clipped item here and then go to the edit menu we can make a bitmap copy and now we should not have the uh, the same issue here so now we have a copy of this item and we can delete that so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, make all these uh, bitmap copies uh, again to, to do that. Let's move this guy over here. Make a bitmap copy and you'll notice that it's Alt-B. So there's our bitmap copy. And you can tell the difference. See, if, if I select this one I see I can still select that object. We want to delete that guy. Here's our bitmap copy image 422 by 257. See, and this says image 1162 by 2691. Let's hit Alt B on our keyboard. And you can see how the status changed 450 by 260. And this is the one we want to keep. And this is the one we want to get rid of. All right, so what do we got here? Now, I'm holding the Alt key, uh, which is Inkscape's way of uh, selecting under. If you want to select something that's below an object, if you hold Alt, you can do that. And eventually, I have the one that I want selected, Alt-B. Let's Alt-B this one. All right, make sure you look. Okay, this is the one we want to get rid of here. All right, let's tidy things up a bit. <coughs> that one's already done. Uh, let's take care of that one. And this one needs 
done. Oh, we already did it. Alright, so now... I believe we are all set, ready to go. Now, let's move all these off of our page. And let's think about our story here. Uh, we decided that uh, this might be the climactic uh, experience here. Uh, you know, is our hero going to make it to the top of this huge hill? Um, you know, so maybe this is one of the, the, larger, uh, the larger panels. Um, and let's, uh, so I'm going to leave this off because this could be more of a panoramic view. We could turn snapping on, so, you know, snap on those guides. And that kind of ties into this reaction shot. Uh, so what if we inset this reaction shot of me? We can place that over here. And I don't want that right on the edge. And so, so you can see I've I've set the 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 middle of the story, the the climax. Let's let's uh, let's then set the beginning. Let's set the tone. Um, what if we see my face first? And then the fact that my car is kaput. You know, does that work? And are we showing enough of the car? You know, this might work better as a layout this arrangement. So let's let's make these smaller. We're, we're sort of running out of oh my goodness. So if snap to guides just drives you nuts, then you have to go over here and turn it off. There we go. And remember you can zoom in and out. Um, to get an idea of uh, scale, uh, you can also use this. Um, Let's see, fit selection, fit drawing, we don't want any of those. If we view, we can zoom uh, one to one, which is one on the keyboard. And this tries to simulate the actual page size on your screen. So I don't know if you hold up an 11 by, 8.5 by 11 page to the screen here, is that the same? It's going to be close. So we have these two that have to occur before and they're both very similar so if we remember correctly this is um, this is uh, you know the, the kickoff event uh, this creates the conflict uh, this sorts, sort of sets the tone for the struggle that my character has to face. So we get to see my, my character. We have the idea that there might be narration here. And then we can see the school. So we sort of see the goal and, and the, you know, the epicness and also the, the struggle he's going to face when he gets to the hill or the mountain. And we got to fit this guy in here somewhere. But look how it's behind some of these other panels. Uh, we can use the stacking order controls right here. And you can bring him up one level. Or you can bring it up all the way to the top. And uh, this is a nice shot. I kind of want this rather large. Uh, but we're going to have to we're going to have to think about that. So come back. Uh, the next video will cover uh, my finished layout.